Welcome back to the RV Rundown. I'm your host, Barry, and this is the 2023 Alliance Paradigm 395 DS. The 395 DS is one of the first fifth wheels that I've been in that I feel like large families can truly be comfortable in or folks that might be traveling with other couples because it truly does have two full bedrooms, two full bathrooms, and there's even a bunk space which is up above me. I'm standing here in the living room, which again, I'm going to reiterate it. It feels great for families or large groups because there's not just two seats across from the TV. We actually have a love seat and recliners in here. So that means that we can have at least four people sitting on sofas, cushioned surfaces, and we have another couple of chairs here as well at the dining table. So we can literally have a large group in our living room, which is something that we don't really see that often. The entertainment center has the nice large flat screen TV. We've got the fireplace down low, some storage up high. That sofa that's over in the slide, it does pull out to become yet another bed for guests. And behind me, I mentioned it earlier, we've got a loft. They've got this cool little ladder that's built in that heads up there. It's a nice large space. There's a spot where we could hook up a TV up there if we wanted to. There's windows on either side for a cross breeze. And they've done cool things. Alliance loves to take use of dead space and they take anywhere they can to put more storage in. And in this case, they saw an opportunity up under the ladder. I like that. I think that's pretty cool. Right behind that, we have the door that leads into the back bedroom. Back here we have a queen bed and that has a padded headboard, windows on either side, again letting a cross breeze through. And I want to remind people that I'm six foot three and I'm standing up back here just fine. There's not a drop frame so I didn't have to step down to get into the bedroom. The floor is perfectly level front to back. I know a lot of people with grandparents would really like that because there's not a lot of up down movement for them to get in bed or get to a bathroom in the fifth wheel. Again, another rare thing. There's plenty of storage in this bedroom. We have nice large hanging cabinetry on either side of the entertainment center, a window looking out and plenty of drawers for all of those odds and ends. The bathroom is in the very back of the coach. We have an epoxy poured countertop. There's even a porcelain foot flush toilet in here. Again, storage, storage, storage. They have the medicine cabinet up high. They have cabinetry down low as well as drawers. And because they didn't run the loft all the way to the back, it gives us a huge shower. And again, me at six foot three, I can definitely rinse off in here just fine. I really love that. I think that it just accommodates even the tallest family members. So let's push up to the front where we have our kitchen. This is a really well equipped kitchen for the space that it's in. They've done a few cool things by making it U shaped. They've given you access to plenty of counter space to work and then they've also given us a really big oven from Insignia. This has the four burner stove top with a convection microwave up top. So this is really kind of a chef's dream because everything feels super residential. We've got in addition to that, a single basin stainless steel sink. It's nice and large, high rise faucet for rinsing out those pots and pans with an extendable wand there. And the refrigerator that's on board here is also quite big. It's a Norcal 12 volt refrigerator. And this thing has a big freezer compartment, nice large inside. We can stay out for days with this. 
Again, storage, storage, storage. I said it before, I'll say it again. We've even got that in the form of a nice deep pantry here. So staying out, feeding a large family, that's gonna be super easy to do. But our kitchen has one last thing hiding in it that I do wanna point out, and that's over in the corner, we have this really cool little hatch that pops up, and there's a spot down there for a trash can. Now you may be thinking, how do I get to it? Well, there's a hatch outside. Moving forward, we end up right by the entry door where we have our main control panel. We'll come back to this in just a second because I wanna run all the slides in and see what's accessible. But what's cool about it is everything is on an individual rocker switch. We also have a big light switch right across as we enter and everything's on a dimmer here too so we can set the mood if we want. And each of those air conditioners that comes through, we have three on board, is individually controlled. On the upper deck, we find the king bedroom as well as our big bathroom. This bathroom feels extra spacious thanks to the way that they've laid it out. They've given us multiple ways to get into it. We have the foot flush toilet down low. Again, epoxy countertops, plenty of storage. We've got the medicine cabinet, the cabinet here, cabinet down low, and a nice big shower enclosure with that awesome seated area to where we can pull that nozzle off of the wall and just hose yourself off at the end of a long day, sit there and really enjoy the hot water. I mentioned earlier that we've got three ACs on board. One of them's right here in the main bedroom and can directly dump into it, which means you can really cool this thing off. Now, in addition to having a very large closet in the front cap that is pre-plumbed for a washer dryer, we have plenty of other storage too. So we've got our chest of drawers at the foot of the bed and Alliance loves to take advantage of dead space. It's got hidden storage in the top of it. There's a TV up high so we can have entertainment in the bedroom. And then under the bed, we have more storage, so that flips up, it's on a strut assist. You can see we've got two folding chairs down there for the table downstairs if we need to use them. That's just extra seating for the whole family. And the headboard of the bed is padded with windows on either side, so that's gonna allow that cross breeze to come through. Very nice, there's reading lights up high, and they've given us a great spot to hook up a phone, set up a glass of water. There's even USB ports and power on either side as well. And one last little note in here that I think is kind of cool, again, just taking advantage of dead space, they put a little seated area in the corner here so you can put your shoes on, but there's also a little bit of storage up under that. Who would have thought? Storage, storage, storage. Let's head back to that control panel. Let's let all our slides in and see what we can access. So with all of our slides run in, I can come through the front door. I can get into the main bathroom just fine. I can even walk into my kitchen area and access some of the cupboards and whatnot that are here, but I can't really get into the refrigerator. I can't really get to anything much beyond it either. So it's good for a quick pit stop. Definitely if you keep your snacks in the upper pantry here, you could certainly get to the sink, the bathroom, and a couple of small things. But you're not gonna full on stop and have a lunch break here. So let's open it back up and check out the outside. Outside the 395, we've got a few cool things going on. I wanna get started right here at the front where we have marine grade exterior speakers. These are tied to a Bluetooth head unit so you can run your music from your phone while you're outside. All of this is up under an electric awning. This is one of two electric awnings on the unit. There's one at the rear as well. And notice that it does cover your entry door. Directly behind me, we have a nice slam latch on our insulated baggage door, which opens up to reveal the pass-through storage. Directly behind that door is our Saddlebag LP. So we have one of these on the other side as well. Now, Alliance has done something that I think is really cool this year right here at the entryway with this big, what they call the safety rail from More Ride. It's an extra long grab handle. It's nice and stiff, and it really complements 
the Lippert solid steps. So getting in and out of the camper just feels really stable all the way around. Right next to our entry, we do have a spray port. This is connected back to the water line so that we can hose off dirty feet, dirty children, whatever else, right before we're heading back into the vehicle. The RV is equipped with six point hydraulic level up. At the rear, we have a two inch receiver with four pin trailer wiring. So if tandem towing is legal in your state, you could have a little utility trailer behind it. It is better though for like cargo racks and bike racks, things like that. There's also a ladder leading up to our fully walkable roof. And up underneath the rear, you'll find our spare tire as well as a sewer hose carrier. Right here about midway along the back side of the coach, we find ourselves up under the kitchen where we have that baggage door that leads to the trash can container that we talked about inside. So having a trash can here, you just pull it out, take it, empty it, put it back in, and it really keeps things kind of mess free. It keeps your garbage out of the way. We have our main shore power as well as our water heater, and that brings us right back to that pass-through storage, except on this side, we have our wet bay. So this is all the spots where we can hook up our city water. There's even an outside shower right here. We can bypass to tanks. We can do our winterization right here. It's all controlled from this spot. Now, next to that, we have that saddlebag LP storage that we talked about on the front side. And finally, at the very, very front here, we have our controls for the six point hydraulic level up. This is easy, you can hit auto level and the camper will level itself, but it is powerful enough to lift one side of the camper up to change a tire. Up here at the front cap, we have a fully molded fiberglass. We have a Rotaflex pin box, and then up underneath, we find our battery compartment, our hydraulic pump for the systems that are on board, and notice that this is pre-wired for a generator. So that's something we've optioned in on this model. I really feel like Alliance's entrance into the dual suite category of fifth wheels is super valid for families on the go. This thing is awesome with the bunk space up top, two full separate bedrooms and bathrooms, and a second bathroom that even tall people can stand up in. It's just so many things that check off so many boxes for a lot of families. Not to mention, there's actually room in the living room for everyone to sit down and watch a little bit of TV. That's kind of cool in my opinion. I think this is something that you should check out if you're thinking about going full time with friends or family, or if you're just looking for a bigger, more comfortable vacation rig. You can see it in person at Southern RV in McDonough, Georgia. You can visit us online at southernrv.com. And please like, subscribe, comment, share. It really helps a small channel like ours. Until next time, you guys, happy camping.